Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out Each Young's Let's Dance performance video. Really excited to be checking this out because the music video had the best camera work for choreography I think I have ever seen. Um, sure, there are certain types of framing, certain types of stuff I like to see, but in terms of showcasing the choreography to the best, in terms of having fun with the camera, I think this is by far the best that I have ever seen in my, what year is it? Almost eight years of doing reactions for k-pop so um i'm in love so let's just i just want to appreciate this a lot more so that's what we're doing here so you know what it let go let's because i mean not only is the camera work there but ooh, like look at the changes for the lens they'd have there but the editing's got to be there too girl like, come on. Editing gotta be there. I love a bouncy zoom. But it's also not taken away from the choreography. It's playing, we're having fun with it. She just like a fun little lean. Sure, you're not seeing the full formation there, but it's it's about Chan, you know. Yo, she owns this lower angle. I didn't even realize there's a face up top. I don't know if everything's like the same frames that they did in the music video, but fun cuts there. It's fun. Match cuts are crazy though. And some people have been saying like, is the K-pop scene gone? Check it, so not today. The editing said not today. I think that one's on the lower angle just because like the face is up top, but... Like, get out! That's so fun! And it's like hitting each... The camera is going where each move is being hit. It's crazy. Like, like, name something better, come on, I'll wait. Some of it does look different. Clean. But it, it also gives your eye a break. Not there. But give me kind of like a regular not really special shot, you know? Or crazy editing. Which is also great editing. To be able to balance all the flashy, fun, crazy camera angles, crazy, fun, bouncy zooms, zoom in and out, and then, but to also kind of hold attention and give your eyes a little bit of a break from just being entirely purely that, because then it be kind of comes a little bit too much but so it's also really great editing not only for again the crazy moments but also the not crazy moments but yeah it's some of the best camera work you have very kind of very i would say typical very standard camera work happening but then we also get the really fun stuff which is amazing whether it's those crazy quick uh, match cut edits or these crazy camera work that's happening it's all really fun and i think it's the best for choreography it's not really taking away from too much you do miss out a lot for on the formation i would say for the chorus that's like a you like that um but other than that but again it's it's all about chan um other than the, like 
missing out on that. I feel like you don't miss really anything that's happening in the choreography. And it's really fun, it's very playful, because the concept's very playful. So getting camera work and editing that also kind of matches that vibe is really really great to see you never really see i feel like a lot of what is shown these days are just like more like medium shots on whoever's main moment it is so really getting a variety of stuff like this is so fun and i really love it it just because i like like for one i love i, I come from the film side so I pay really great attention to what they're doing here and what the purpose is and the meaning of it and how it's also serving the choreography and especially because in America well you know you know you've seen k-pop performances on western television you know the camera work is not there um so to see like how they shoot choreography and try to get it in the best way possible um for like k-pop stuff is always very like inspiring and kind of makes me wonder what you can do if you take these sort of practices and implement it in like a film sort of standpoint sure I, it may be like i kind of think that way sometimes um but like i don't even know if it would work well or not well because you never really seen it but um to like really just and i also love dancing and performance and i don't ever want to see a like like see less of a like have the camera work take away from the choreography to where the choreography cannot be appreciated in the way that it should be and that's the case a lot of the time and it's just sometimes it's just the way it is and it's just like it, so really seeing something like this that has intention with the camera of the fun stuff and also the editing to really try and showcase this choreography to the best of everybody's abilities whether it was the DP and the editing to really work together and again play this dance um, it's really really inspiring to see and I really really love it and I wish every comeback could be like this but not every single one can so I love that Cheyenne is doing that for this one and then I would argue Nock did the same thing as well but for sure Singer kind of still pushed that with what the what she does in terms of the quality and the visuals I love it. Love it. Go to Pretty Thoughts to come down below. Check that about each Young's Let's Dance performance video. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, and hit, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or description down below or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica Disc Games. Currently playing Red Dead Redemption 2, but we're finishing it up, so we're going to play it separate ways. DLC for the Resident Evil 4 remake, and then after that we're playing Resident Evil 2. So hope you can join me over there for those for a spooky season time. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Love you, and I'll tell you guys later. Bye.